With Halloween right around the corner and the weather getting chilly, I knew it was time to turn on my oven and make my raspberry mummy hand pies. They're cute and kooky and not altogether spooky. And the bonus is that they're a Halloween treat that actually tastes good. So come on, grab your puff pastry and I'll show you how to make it. What's up, universe? Welcome back to my kitchen. And in case you don't know who I am, I'm Julie, I'm a chef, I'm a mom, and this is an exciting day because this is the first time that we're back in this kitchen filming the show for you since our son Lincoln was born. So for this season, we're gonna be focusing on some easy and yummy snacks that we can actually execute and film while our son Lincoln naps. So, Let's get started. What you're gonna need is puff pastry, flour, raspberry preserves, egg yolk, milk or cream, sanding sugar, and candy eyes. You have no idea. It actually feels really, really refreshing and good to be back in the kitchen. I haven't filmed anything regarding food in a really long time. So what I have right now is a thawed piece of puff pastry. So I think what works best is if you actually thaw it out in the refrigerator overnight. Usually it's frozen, it comes with two sheets of puff pastry. I already rolled out one of the sheets and it's in the refrigerator, but that's a tip for you because if you are working with puff pastry, you want it to remain cold because there's so many layers of butter in all of those layers of dough. And so that's what makes it puff and flake in the oven. Normally I am not like a precise person, but with baking, you have to be. And for this recipe, um, if you want them to turn out exactly like mine, work with a ruler. But what we're gonna aim for is to make it a 12 by 12 square. All I did was dust my board with a little bit of flour, and then we're just gonna try to roll it out as best we can to a 12 by 12 square. And then I'm turning the dough, the puff pastry, as opposed to me turning with a rolling pin. For the ratio of the jam and the puff pastry, you do want it to be a little bit thin. If, it's, if you just use it as is, it's gonna be a little too thick. It turns out like 100 times better when you actually take the time to roll it. Okay, let's give this a little measure. 12 by 12. Okay, we're gonna cut this 12 by 12 square into four pieces, okay? So then the four pieces are gonna be six by six each. I'm gonna use my ruler and Mark it at the six point. I'm using a pizza cutter. You can use a paring knife, a regular knife, but there's just something so satisfying about using a pizza cutter. And I feel like it's just nice and smooth. Okay, so then we're gonna, again, mark it at the six. Not too bad, right? As you can see, the edges are jaggedy. If you really want to, you can cut off the edges, trim them down so they're not so jaggedy, but for me, I'm just gonna go with it. Now, take each square and cut that in half so that you're ending up with a three by six rectangle. I told you this is like a little bit of math and precision, but it's worth it, you guys, trust me. Like butter. So you'll see that some pieces are kind of ugly, and some pieces are a little bit prettier and more even. So I'm gonna take four of the uglier pieces and reserve them, which are the ones that are on the ends. And then with these four, scoot them on over. These will be your mummy bodies. So we're just gonna keep them aside. And for these guys, we're gonna cut them into strips so they could be the mummy bandages. I'm gonna measure out about a half inch. The width of your bandages is up to you. It really doesn't affect a recipe much, honestly, but you just don't want it to be too thin or too thick. So from then on, I'm just gonna kind of like eyeball it, look at the one that I just did, and then try to match it. See, like some of them are thicker than the others, but 
Actually, I find that to be charming. I think I had too much coffee. I feel like my, my hands are shaky. Or maybe I'm just scared that Lincoln's gonna wake up. This is our first episode after all, so it's an experiment to see if we can actually <laughs> execute filming an episode while he naps and no one else is watching him. I love how these little strips look like ribbons of fresh pasta. At this point, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Okay, my kitchen is very tiny and that's why I'm preheating it now because I didn't want my puff pastry to melt from the residual heat in the room. But if you have a larger kitchen, just go ahead and do that right away. Now, you're gonna need two baking trays lined with parchment paper. I just cut it down to size. One of them, again, is in the fridge. You're gonna transfer your little mummy bodies and then you're gonna make your egg wash. So I have an egg yolk. The trick is to separate your egg, honestly, just feed it through your fingers and catch the egg yolk in your fingers. And then you get a tablespoon of either heavy cream or milk. We always happen to have milk now. I'm gonna mix it together. That's gonna be your glue. And then I'm gonna grab some raspberry preserves. If you feel like making your own homemade jam, go for it. But this tastes just as good. And I've tried it with other things, but you know what? Raspberry preserves is the way to go in taste. It's just something about it. It's just like perfectly sweet and tart. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spread about anywhere from like a tablespoon to two tablespoons of the preserves right onto your puff pastry in the center, making sure that you leave the edges. Really, you don't have to measure it. You can just use as much or as little as you want. I think I'm personally using about two tablespoons. I just grabbed the other tray out of the fridge, nice and cold. So I went up to this point with the raspberry jam. Now you're gonna take your little egg wash and brush the edges. That's why it's actually better to do this step at this point right on your parchment paper so that there's not a mess and you don't have to worry about transferring it later. Now this is the fun and creative part. You're gonna create your mummies. Give yourself a little space. I'm just gonna take a strip and lay down the bandage however I want. Then I'm gonna use my pizza cutter to kind of cut off the excess. I will trim everything down even more at the end. And you know what, this bandage I can still use. I'm gonna put it like here or somewhere. What I like to do is create a little bit of bandage for the head. So we're gonna crisscross applesauce. So I'm going to create a little space for the face where we can put the little googly candy eyes on later. So I'm going to do this. And at this point, it's all about just having fun. If you notice, I'm not throwing away any of these scraps yet, just in case I need them. The key is to make it as haphazard and mummy-like as possible. If it's too neat and orderly, it ends up just looking like a normal like strudel or something. And you don't wanna to put too many layers of the pastry on top because it could bog it down. One thing I forgot to mention is that my own personal touch is I tend to like to make the mummies face different ways. If this one is facing this way, I like the eyes to face this way for the other one, but that's totally up to you. Now I'm just gonna trim down the edges some more. I mean, this is just the way I'm doing it because I wanna be efficient. This is why some people just look up our recipes on the blog and they don't bother to watch the videos. And I'm like, you don't know what you're missing out because I feel like I give you so many tips. I do like to loosen them a little bit so they're not stuck. So they have a chance to puff up without any hindrances. Then just for extra good measure, you're gonna use a fork and with the tines of the fork, press down just where the bandages are, just lightly. You don't need it very smashed but this just kind of makes sure it's secure. The egg wash does that too. You're gonna grab your egg wash again, and this time just lightly go over the bandages. I mean, if it gets on the jam, it's all right too, but I like to just focus on the edges without being too overzealous because you don't want it to glue down the puff pastry, become too weighty or too soggy. You're gonna use this to help make the bandages brown and also so that you can add the final step of sanding sugar. 
It's just decorative coarse sugar that you use for decorating sugar cookies, things like that. It's very thick and coarse, looks like little rocks. It adds that crunchy little sugary bit that you get like on real pies or that you get from the bakery. And I think that this makes all the difference. If I find it on Amazon, I'll leave a link for you down below in our video descriptions box. So I'm pretty generous with the sanding sugar because I feel like it just adds more flavor to the puff pastry in itself and crunch. And I'm all about texture. I wouldn't use regular sugar though. So if you don't have this, then you can skip this step. You can just do the egg wash and not put any sugar on top. I'm afraid that this is gonna get a bit warm. So I'm gonna pop this back into the fridge, this whole tray, and then I'm gonna move on to the other tray doing exactly the same thing. Then I'm gonna keep that in the fridge for a bit and then I'll pop both into the 400 degree preheated oven. Make sure that both of your oven racks are in the center and then pop both the trays in at the same time. You're gonna wanna bake this for about 15 to 17 minutes, depending on your oven. So just make sure that it's nice and crisp on the bottom, that it's nicely browned on the top and it's puffed. That's all you're looking for. And then pop it out, transfer it to a cooling rack, and then you're going to pop on your candy eyeballs. What do you think? So perfectly golden and puffy and crispy. If you look at the bottoms, I don't know if you can see it, it's a nice golden brown on the bottom. It's crispy, it's not soggy. The tops are nicely golden brown. And with all puff pastry, once it comes out of the oven, it will get sunken a bit. But I kind of think it adds to that whimsical character to it, like the bandages really pop out from the jam. Now you do want to transfer these right away because the longer it sits and as it cools, you want the air to circulate underneath it so that it doesn't turn soggy right away. You can keep these once they're fully cooled in an airtight container for several days. I actually keep it in the refrigerator to reheat them. Then you just pop them into like a countertop toaster oven and then um, it just puffs up nicely just for a few minutes. And I'm just gonna put the eyeballs on and they will stick to the jam nicely. It's kind of funny when they're a little cross-eyed, so no worries about that. And then that's it. And I think they just look so cute and kooky, adorable. And as they cool on the rack, they will get a little firmer to the touch so they won't be so soft. Um, and here you go. Here's my little raspberry mummy hand pie. And now all there is left to do is the taste. First of all, Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> exhausting. <Ooh. laughs> but we did it. We filmed our first video post baby mm -hmm. while he napped and he didn't wake up yet, hopefully. So let's hopefully just- Hopefully let's hurry up and do it. <laughs> okay. Did they come out as cute as before when I tested it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Should I go from the top? I don't know, you wanna bite off his head or his feet? I'll go from the feet. Gotta love that crispy sound. Oh, look at <laughs> Kids will love it. Actually, Lincoln likes it. We gave him a little taste and he actually liked it. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I thought he was too young. What I like about it, I don't know if you can see, but it's really thin because I rolled it. So even though these are a decent size for a hand pie, it doesn't feel dense and heavy because it's so crisp, flaky, and light with the jam. Mm -hmm. It's just, it tastes good. That's my hang up about Halloween type of recipes. Sometimes they're just cute or spooky, but then they don't taste good. But not the case with these. Nope, these are not even Halloween. Just take off the eyes. Yeah. And just have a, you know, a treat or, you know, if you're going over to somebody's house, has a dessert mm. with a coffee or a tea. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm not the fan of the taste of the candy eyeballs. They just taste like hard royal icing. So you can pluck them off and not even eat them. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> it's just purely decorative. But they make some really nice Instagram pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for substitutions, I mean, I wouldn't really substitute the puff pastry itself because 
You could use probably pie crust and things like that, but I don't think it would taste as good. But I would definitely try doing different types of preserves or anything else inside. So you could do like your own homemade blueberry jam, and you could mm. kind of call them like blueberry mummies. <laughs> but it's pretty easy and straightforward, and we actually executed it 100% while Lincoln was mm -hmm. napping. I'm surprised. I am so surprised. That's like a Halloween treat in itself. It's a Halloween miracle. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And remember to also leave a comment down below if you make it, if you tried it, or you're glad to see us back. Let mm -hmm. us know. Yeah. And if you've been part of our universe for a while, leave a comment down below saying part of the universe so we know who's part of our squad. Anyways, remember to push like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and also hit that little bell for mm -hmm. notifications. So you know every time we upload a new video. Yep. Aren't you glad to see Joe eating again, nodding his head <laughs> and saying, mm, good. I haven't eaten for like a year now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's good to be back, right? Oh yeah, uh-huh. Anyways, good teamwork. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Gotta go and sit down. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So now I'm gonna create a little space for the face so that we could put the so I'm gonna create a little bit of space for the face. So we're gonna put the, where? It adds that crunchy, oh, there goes the oven. Okay, I got it. So it 